Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a recap of composing in full media, part 38, looking ahead. In today's episode, we set out to, well, first of all, we did some reflecting after we kept listening to our latest structuring. And we realized there's a theme here of balancing theory and feeling, balancing, balancing cognition and emotion. When we play the piece slowly, it is powerful. When we play it quickly, we hear the patterns. So the emotion comes with the slow movement, and then the pattern kind of gives the pleasing cognition pattern. So we slowed ourselves back down to the original tempo, and then we began adding arpeggios. And we finished section one and are halfway through section two, and we did some adjusting. So what we're going to do for you today is play section one and the half of section two that we have completed, and then we'll take us home. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to continue adding the arpeggios and adjusting the end durations, which we were doing in here, and then revisit whether we want to further restructure the overall sequences. We kind of like how the arpeggios draw out this feeling of the chords and again, by playing way up in the upper register compared to the horn and the contrabass, the fact that there are dissonant one-two chords and so forth um, tends to get, uh, it's not as, uh, as evident. And instead, we're hearing kind of a high plinkety-plinkety sound, which is pleasing on top of the strong, powerful movement. So we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>